What is up and welcome back and today we're going to be doing something a whole lot different. I'm actually going to be recommending a book I'm currently reading and it's going to be about Kobe Bryant and this book is actually going to be greatly beneficial to somebody who's a younger basketball player because it does give a whole lot of different insights and details I haven't heard anywhere else on kind of what you need to do and the mindset you need to have in order to become a professional. Not just that, but this book is very helpful to somebody who's an older basketball player or just somebody who has a life goal in mind because the book does talk about Corey Bryant's life struggles and everything he needed to do and overcome in order to become great and successful. So this book is definitely a book I highly recommend. And when I kind of check out these books or I read them, I kind of use a cheat code. I usually just buy the audio version. That way I can listen to the book while I'm driving in my car or when I'm working out lifting weights. Or even when I have a little bit of downtime, I can hear it for a few minutes or for an hour. And you definitely absorb all that information. And I am going to give a spoiler alert because I don't want to ruin the book for anybody. But the way that it's going to work is I'm going to give you a general idea of what the book's about. Then you can decide for yourself if it's going to be worth your time. Also, I'm not being paid or sponsored by anybody. This is just a book I read by myself and I found very interesting. And I was like, damn, there's a lot of good information in here. Let me share it with the basketball piece on YouTube because I know they really are going to appreciate it. And this book also is a newer book. So there's not a lot of reviews out there. It just came out January of 2022. So that's why I was like, hey, you know what? So let me definitely share some of the knowledge. And with that said, let's begin with some of the details. And the book's going to be called The Rise, Kobe Bryant and the Pursuit of Immortality. And it's by Mike Selsky. And all the details are going to be right there in the description if you want to check it out. But definitely that first beginning of the book, it is very rough. Because it talks about that tragic accident of the late Kobe Bryant. And if you can get past the very beginning of the book, then you really start to see that Corey Bryan, the true legend that he was, had a huge impact not just on the basketball court but outside the game. And that's the best thing you want to do as a professional athlete. You want to, you know, play the game that you love but affect people outside the game. So that's pretty much a take-home message, but it is rough. I just wanted to make sure everybody knew that beforehand. Now, the next few things the book talks about, it does give a lot of gems on the mindset you need to have and things you need to do. If you're really trying to make it. Because Corey Bryant, he didn't have an easy path. I know his dad played in the NBA. But sometimes like that makes it even harder. Because it does put a lot of pressure on you to perform. Right? So you can see how Kobe definitely did not get an easy pass. Because when he moved from Italy to the US to Philadelphia. I mean he had to go through a lot of different things. He was already culture shocked. Because he was move into a different country and people and kids act differently and from one country to another he didn't understand the culture the slang that the kids had in his block in his neighborhood at the school so just by him showing up and being from a different place like he was already kind of like standing out like he was he wasn't fitting in with everybody so he kind of just gravitated to what he knew best which was basketball and i feel that is a huge like gem because a lot of kids out there, a lot of people, right? Sometimes we feel that way. We feel that we're outsiders. But you got to gravitate to what you love. That's going to help you out a whole lot. That's what Kobe did. And that's why, you know, he was able to use the game in order to better himself and make friends and, and keep him focused on his goal. Another important detail this book talks about is the people who develop Kobe. They're just as important as Kobe himself, like him putting in his own work. The people around them are just as important because they can make you a lot better, especially if you're just a kid. So let's talk about some specifics. Kobe's high school coach, Greg Downer, was a real great coach because he saw like Kobe, he exceeded expectations. You know, he wasn't as good the first year and then he came back a lot better. So he's like, OK, this kid is meeting expectations and exceeding. So let me keep giving them challenges. And that's what a real coach is going to do. He's going to make sure that you don't plateau, that he's finding ways that make you better, putting you in situations, finding games for you to play in, finding players that you can go scope out to see where you're at, right? So all those things help out. And I'm just giving here like a general idea. The book talks about a lot of different little specifics or exact things that they did. And if you do happen to read the book, you can find those out. 
But a real good coach is going to do those things. And just think about your coach. Think about is your coach doing those things for you? And if not, just go ahead and ask him, like, hey, coach, I'm trying to get better. Am I doing everything I need to do? And the coach is going to tell you. And just like Kobe, if you're trying to make it, make sure you're meeting or exceeding those expectations. That would be a lot better. Also, Kobe's family had a huge role in helping Kobe out because, as we all know, Kobe Bryant's dad played in the NBA, so he brought a lot to the table, showed Kobe a lot of skillful things, showed him athleticism, also played with him a lot of times one-on-one, so Kobe picked up a lot of things from his dad. And not just that, maybe something you didn't know, Kobe's sisters also helped him out. They protected him from other girls in order to keep Kobe focused. So again, if you're a basketball player and you're doing good, and you're popular in your school, make sure you're not getting distracted because being around a girl, is it can be a very good thing. I don't want to say it's not a good thing because it can help you out in a lot of different ways, but a girl can take a lot of time away from your ultimate goal. If you have that in mind, if you're really trying to make it to the NBA, right, sometimes it's better just to stay focused and just, you know, not have somebody who's going to expect and require a whole bunch of your time and money and resources because that is going to slow down your progress so kobe's family knew what kobe wanted to do what his dream was and they were helping him out and that's important to have so you got to have people who are going to support your dream and sometimes you know you're not going to have people around like that in your life and kobe he was lucky that his family was there for him But also Kobe reached out to other people. He reached out to his English teacher who was Janine Mastriano. And she helped him out a whole lot because he had somebody to talk to, right? So there's always people out there who can help you out, but you have to go looking for them, okay? Sometimes people show up out of nowhere and they help you out or they point you in the right direction. But if you don't have somebody like that, go out there and find somebody, especially if you're a young person. There's people out there who want to help you out, who want to make sure you're the best that you can be. So Kobe had an outlet, somebody outside his family who was able to help him out in a lot of different things. And he had a question about life. She helped him out. So there's a lot of resources out there. There's a lot of good people out there. And lastly, your peers also do matter. I know we hear that a whole lot. The people around you affect maybe how you live your life and that goes for young people and older people as well and not to talk about this a whole lot but i'll give you one example the book talked about kobe had players who were up to his level once he got real good there was players who were just as good as him right and particularly this one player he ended up just dropping off and the reason for it was because the people he was hanging out with he ended up getting involved into some things that wasn't the best and before you knew it you know his game wasn't how it should have been and all he had to do was stay right maybe for one more year and maybe he would have had a huge opportunity to live a life like Kobe Bryant did become a superstar like Kobe Bryant did if he put in the work and stayed focused so again the book goes into details about kind of what happened i was like damn you know that's crazy how life can be just come down to choices so we all have huge potential that's what i love about the book we all have a huge potential but you have to be willing to go after that you know and stay focused and lastly the book talks about how kobe will react when his team will lose games i feel that's very important especially when you're in development because i mean that's a very crucial and important time in order to You know, what are you going to do next? Because you can either give up or keep going. And lots of times, young players, because they don't have success in the beginning, they tend to not work on their craft as hard as they need to. And Kobe Bryant was quite the opposite. When he didn't have success in the beginning, in his early years, I mean, he would just be a workaholic, try to improve, try to get teammates to buy in in order to work out, in order to get better, in order to beat that team next year and that's what you want to see in young players and that's how you become great so you get to see how this book explains how the things that Kobe would say where you can see what Kobe was thinking but you also get to see what the people around them perceived from Kobe because their perception is just as important right because they will tell you hey you know we saw Kobe cry or hey we saw the fire in Kobe's eyes where he told us this never could have happened again we're not going to lose to this team again and how he actually backed that up So some details, like I said, I haven't heard a lot of descriptive or some stories that this book has. I haven't heard them in other places. So definitely a good pickup. And once again, this book is called The Rise, Kobe Bryant and the Pursuit of Immortality. And it's by Mike Silsky. And I did get a lot out of this book. And I know I'm going to put it to good use. 
And also, make sure you subscribe because it does really motivate me to keep going and bring you this quality content. Stuff that I know you guys are going to enjoy and actually benefit from. And with that said, thank you so much for stopping by. And like always, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.